How's it folks? With Starfield about three months away, people have started to talk about a topic that is synonymous with Bethesda games. Bugs. I find some bugs funny, but for some people it seems to be at the point of a feature for Bethesda games. So for this video, I thought I would highlight all the bugs from the Starfield presentation and allow you to decide if Bethesda has shown gameplay that doesn't contain enough bugs. But before that, I want to point out this interview with Phil Spencer and Matt Booty by Giant Bomb, specifically talking about the bugs in the game and how Bethesda has had extra time to focus on the bugs. Take a listen. No, I would just echo first, we have an awful lot of people internally playing it. And I'll just say, I, you know, working with Todd and the team, I, I see bug counts and, yeah. you know, I'll just say that just by the numbers, if it shipped today, this would be the you know, have the fewest bugs that any game from Bethesda has ever shipped with. And so now let me start pointing out all the bugs found in the Starfield showcase, beginning with these big eyed things I'm going to nickname Wallies due to their oversized eyes that reminds me of the Disney movie. They also appear later on in the showcase staring at our character with a massive soul sucking eyes. Unless these bugs are named somewhere in the showcase, I'm going to give them what I think are fitting nicknames for now. If you disagree with my nicknames or have more appropriate ones, let me know in the comment section down below. The next bug shown is this little critter briefly appearing, and I think I'll call him a horseshoe elephant crab, which may sound like a creature from the Avatar Last Airbender show, but these little things look like tusks, and it looks vaguely similar to a horseshoe crab, at least from my point of view. Next up is this big bad boy, which they are trying to make look aggressive and dangerous. So maybe it will fill a similar role that the Death Claws did in the Fallout games. So naturally, that means its name will be something invoking fear or danger. So it should definitely be called something like Night Stalker or Bob the Overenthusiastic Hugger. I'm not entirely sure which name would be more fitting. Next, we have these weird looking sunflower head things that appear outside New Atlantis. And they show up again later on when they are demonstrating some knife combat. Unfortunately, I won't be able to use my incredible naming sense on this one as it is apparently called a Coral Bug Scavenger by Bethesda. The next bug to show up is the one getting mind control and this one appears to be called a Hunting Thorn Mantis. After mind controlling the big bug, it looks so proud of itself and appears to wag its tail like an excited puppy. That I'll be honest, I was not expecting to see on something that looks like it will enjoy chomping on my bones if it had the opportunity to do so. The next bug shows up in what looks like a facility of some sort that has been overrun and is now home to all manner of little bugs that enjoy a dark, damp and all round freaky looking environment. Hopefully this will imply there will be at least some horror elements involving clearing out bugs from an overrun station or even a derelict ship. As we don't see much of this little guy other than him moving around, I will call him the scuttler for now. The next one, I'm not certain is a bug, but with its mandibles, leaf-like antenna thins and eyes, it at least looks close enough to one for me to add it to the list. But I won't name this chunky boy either as it is called a twin tail herbivore. I know it is hardly unlikely to be the case, but I can fairly easily imagine myself riding this one into battle while covered in war paint. Next on the list are these little guys running across the screen that will show up again later on in the video. If I had to name these ones, I would probably call them boar crabs, with their boar-like tusks jutting from their faces and a crab-like shell or carton layer over their back. Just looking at these guys makes me think the creature designers must have had a lot of fun coming up with these alien creatures. Next up, we have these green guys casually strolling past our starter spaceship. The green tinge covering them makes me think of oxidized copper, so I'm going to speculate that there is copper in their shells and call them copper hounds. Even though they don't resemble dogs, my theory is that they eat rocks containing copper so they are generally found near copper seams. So if you see them there is probably a copper source nearby, hence copper hounds. The next one shows the herding crab herbivore being scanned, so I can't name it either. It appears that we will have quite a few crab look-alike alien creatures making an appearance in Starfield, which I'm grateful for as I do enjoy my seafood, even if I have yet to try eating crab. The next bug on the list is our first flying creature added to the list, and the only reason I'm adding it is because it is called the Mothwind Grazer. I am not certain what it looks like up close, but it's got moth in its name, so I'm claiming it for the bug kingdom Hivemind. 
It might be this creature shown in the gameplay trailer, but I am not certain. Next shot shows two bugs and let's start with the one in the foreground first. Its crab claws and legs with its weird looking mouthpiece and antennas all stand out. But the most eye-catching feature has to be the weird looking structure jutting from its back. So, I think it will be fairly natural to call it a radar crab. With regards to the out of focus green thing strolling through the background, I can't make out much, but for some reason it reminds me of a locust, so I'll just call it a giga locust due to its massive size. The next bug is something I want to stay far away from as it is giving strong scorpion vibes. Because of its size, I will call it a titan scorpion and move on, just so I don't have to look at it any longer. The next bug is a standing tall large creature with far too many mouth parts. It also appears to strongly resemble a praying mantis. Between those two rather eye-catching features, I feel like this one should obviously be called a mantis maw, and leave it at that. We are starting to approach the end of the list with only a couple of ones left, and the next one to be brought up appeared during the combat demonstration for both melee and heavy weapons called the Hunting Maggot Maw. This big guy definitely looks like something I would prefer to keep at a distance, so I'd probably go the heavy weapons approach against him, maybe also set it on fire to make sure it stays dead. The next one on the list may be the Green Giga Locust I showed earlier, but here it is called the Herding Spider Wasp Razor. It sure looks like a spider from the front with its beady little eyes and its front appendages snapping at the character. At least he had the common sense of setting it on fire first. But if this is the size of the spiders showing up, it may be a better idea to do a few strafing runs of the area before landing with our spaceship. I think someone at Bethesda just wanted to make a spider that could stomp us underfoot. Next up we have these mushroom head shrimp things floating in the sky. We only have this distant shot of them, but once again I'm claiming them for the hive mind. I think I'll call them shrimp shrooms for now. We also have these little black fellas moving around on the ground, but I think they may be the horseshoe elephant crabs I showed off earlier in the video. The next three I am going to lump together as they each briefly show up during the flashback sequence. The first to show up are these tiny little ones skittering across a rock, so I'll call them skitters. The next one look like shrimps on land, so I'll naturally call them shrimp crawlers. And the final one looks like it's got the slaughter fish for its face, so I'll call it the fast travel blocker. Because as far as I can tell, that's the only role slaughter fish played in Skyrim and no one can convince me otherwise. And finally, we have this shot of something weird attached to our spacesuit. There are a couple of possibilities I can see for this. Firstly, that we have been subsumed and we have now joined the hive mind. Secondly, it is spoils of war from a legendary creature that for some reason we decided to wear as a trophy, sort of like back in the day people wearing wolf or bear skins. My last guess is that we brought a very weird spacesuit off of some sketchy vendor claiming it provides great bonuses for us, so we chose stats over drop. One bonus bug is the dumpster fire that showed up during the spaceship section. <laughs> so those were all the bugs I found from the Starfield presentation. If you notice some I missed or think there is something wrong with my naming sense, please let me know in the comment section down below. A like and or subscribe will greatly help me out and let me know you wish to see more of such content. Otherwise, I hope you all have a fantastic day. Take care and cheers for now.